all right guys welcome back with another video in today's video we are going to learn about sort command so as its name sort it is used to reorder the content of the file in the alphabeticals or ascending or descending orders suppose you have a file which is a large quantity of information in the file and you need just sort into alphabeticals or ascending descending order then you can use a sort command even not only used for sorting out the content but also helps to remove the duplicates from the files so let me take a one example here before this video i have created some files which is showing up here and if i see the content of this file number one you can see there is alphabeticals names showing up in the g janice honey dalbi harjan now if i type sort and the file name you can see here this sort command basically sort out the alphabeticals. If it is alphabets, then it takes the first character and sort out the file. Whenever you are using a sort command, it will print in the terminal, I mean in the shell, but not going to change the content. It is not going to overwrite it. So if I check the same file again, the result is same. The content is same in the same disorder format. But if you want to save this sorted format into the new file or even the same file, then you can use the same command and type hyphen o which is output and give the file name so let me type new in here if i type ls here let me clear the content here if i type ls you can see the file is here and if i see whether this file has a sorted format or not you can see here so basically you can sort out the content and if you want to save the sorted format into new file you can use hyphen o and similar way there is another thing like some people are doing differently but i would preferably like to check the status of the file whether it, whether it is sorted or not so in that case i have to mention hyphen c for checking whether this file is sorted or not so i'm going to take a same example for the file first file and you can see here the status showing up this file which is file number one which we are checking has in the disorder format and if i see for the sorted new file which we just sorted out you can see we do not have any output because it is not giving us any error so let me take another example suppose we have another file which is score.txt here we have some numbers and when you are sorting out the numbers or numerical format you have to mention the hyphen n then the file name because hyphen n will reap will able to understand if you use without n this will give you the wrong results and if i use sort hyphen n will give you the correct answer here even not only for ascending orders you can also reverse the sorting so if i type sort hyphen n for reversing you have to use r and uh, then file name you can see the result in the reverse manner let me take another example we have months file also so if you see the file months has some content right which is like a uh, february january march august and september right and you can see this is not in the correct sorting format now for the months, if I type sort command and simply type the months because it's a uh, alphabetical format, right? I can simply mention the file name with the sort. See what happened here. The result is wrong because when you type sort command, it start understanding with the first character. And especially for the months, if you want to sort out the months, let me type the months command again. You have to mention hyphen M, which is this. It's a capital M, do not put the small m because it, Linux is case sensitive. When I hit enter, now the results are showing up here, which is the correct January, February, March, August, and September. All right, so let's see what we have next. So we have a data.csv file and uh, give me one second. And if I see what we have inside this file, you can see so we have data which is alphabets and some of them are numeric format and you can see these are the two columns 
the first column has alphabets and second column is numerical format now when you have more than one column in file then how we can sort out because when you are using a sort command and mentioning the file name it will basically sort out the file exactly the first column the first column will be sort out as default but when you basically uh, want to sort out other columns also right then you have to mention hyphen k so like i want to sort out the second column which is 40 90 I mean 4,900, 9,000, 6,000, this one. Simply type K and then mention the column number. So in my case, it is two. If you have more than columns, then you have to mention by your, I mean, file. Depends on your file. So if I type the file name again, you can see here. And let's see the last example for removing the duplicates from the files. So let's see what we have inside the duplicates files. If I type cat command, it's showing up me the file. And this is a small file, but in real time, you probably get a lot of information in the files. And in that case, sort command is really helpful when you want to remove the duplicates. So here you can see du BMW, it's showing up two times. And if I type sort command and duplicates, it will basically sort out the values, right? It is sort out the alphabets right now. But I want to remove the duplicates also. So in that case, you have to use hyphen U and type the file name. You can see. Now I want to save this file. So for that, simply use hyphen O, which is for putting up the outputs and the file name. So here I'm going to type duplicates.txt. And let me clear the terminal also. And if I type ls, it will should be have here, right? So let me see if we have non-duplicates value here. Yes. So we have this uh, non-duplicates file. You can use it and you can easily filter out with the sort command. And that's it for today. If you learn something new from this video, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you.